Okay, what's up, what's up mga Lodibus Boy Dangit here. So, nakita na itong uh, adobo recipe ng Food Network. Ayan, sa US ata ito. Uh, na ni-review ni Mr. Nigel and ni Chef Mackinson ng uh, Europe yan. Sa Europe, ewan sa UK ata siya. Ayan. So, um, adobo is one of my favorite uh, dish. Oh, nasabi mo na, let's say it's on my number one favorite na comfort food. So, I've been eating adobo for more than 30 years of my life. So, I've tried the chicken adobo, um, fish adobo, beef adobo, pork adobo, lamb adobo, and um, in Philippines, we have like uh, different kinds of adobo. So, every provinces, uh, every city, um, may mga different uh, type of adobo like in our in north i'm living in a uh, northern philippines um it's very typical to see um dry adobo there uh, our adobo is like oily garlicky peppery uh dry dry adobo so you cannot see like yung mga sauces walang broth basta dry adobo in northern philippines in pampanga uh, their adobo is a bit sweeter version. So, may, may thick sauce and then a uh, medyo sweeter version yung sa Pampanga. Usually, kasi mga um, my friends, ng mga chefs din na tiga Pampanga, ganun yung mga gawari nila. And in Tagalog, in NCR area, um, the adobo is similar to this uh, food network with sabaw. <laughs> Siguro nila nakuha yung adobo nila. And in south, like uh, in uh, let's say um, like Visayas area, sa Mindanao hindi ko pa na try. Eh. So Visayas area, uh, I have some uh, French chefs there. Uh, they usually uh, are into uh, acid acid side so more ratio ng vinegar than uh, soya soy sauce but in north more soy sauce than vinegar and uh, in Pampanga thick sauce and uh, sweet salty uh, profile and Tagalog in NCR Manila meron yung sabaw nga brought like this one but let's see i didn't check the whole recipe yet so check na natin play na natin to okay pepper a good amount of black pepper okay usually we use pepper habanero what habanero 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 hiya habanero don't in one crow in philippines what you doing suit nephew today guys is your lucky day we're finally going to be react so habanero possible because um some um, some families they it's spicy uh, but we don't use sabanero we only have a siling labuyo in philippines and possible yan kasi especially if the one who who are eating are adults or yung mga nasa inuman goods na goods yan dry adobo na maanghang dry adobo very spicy dry adobo that's also good but we use a siling labuyo okay so forward natin ng konti Okay. You scare a little bit of sodium. Hi, uh, low sodium soy sauce. <laughs> this is <laughs> what Rachel Ray used in her pad thai video. You can also substitute three tablespoons total of soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, liquid amino, or tamari. What? Liquid amino? No. <laughs> Have many variation. Okay, okay, so na yung kanina. Yung kay Chef, ayan. Chef Mackinson. Going today, guys, though, be sure to give me the Shout courage to be able to finish this video because after a few of our other Food Network videos, videos, honestly, we need the courage. So be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future okay, content. Okay. Now, Let's get started. Today, we review nephew Jeffy Sakarin making Filipino adobo. This dish has many variations. Everybody make it different way, so it's hard to fuck up. But this nephew Jeffy, he wearing suit to make Asian food. Hiya. <laughs> Uncle Roger don't have good feeling about this. You know, I'm getting that same feeling that we had when we reviewed Retro Ray's chicken adobo. 
But it smells so good. <laughs> no I'm going to don't feel comfortable. I have that exact same feeling right now. I don't know if it's going to turn out really well. Alright, again. Four. I think the other two are taste testers. Some low sodium soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Low sodium. Try the low sodium. Oh, always. Uh, Why? Low sodium soy sauce is soy sauce with less flavor. Who want that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't be pussy. Buy regular soy sauce. Big man like you scare a little bit of sodium. Hiya. Low sodium soy sauce. This is exactly what Rachel Ray used in her Pad Thai video. You can also substitute. <laughs> Three tablespoons total of soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, liquid <laughs> amino or tamari. What? Liquid amino? No! Soy sauce wrong! Don't substitute wrong thing for more wrong thing! Very inexpensive white vinegar. Vinegar, correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe put more Filipino people oh, love vinegar. This is true. I've worked around a lot of Filipinos in the kitchen and we have also reviewed a lot of adobo recipes and everybody says you need more vinegar in a lot of the videos that we've reviewed, except for Joshua's. Joshua did use like a lot of vinegar in his recipe. A lot. Some <laughs> <laughs> brown sugar. Sugar, good. Some black pepper, a good amount of black, black pepper. pepper. Okay, oh, usually we use pepper corn. Habanero. Oh. Ha what? Oh. Habanero. <laughs> Habanero. <laughs> Habanero. Hiya. Habanero, don't even grow in Philippines. What you doing, soup nephew? Well, I mean, if you're making okay. this at home, you can make so here guys as you can see um, they use a marination type no uh, yung marination method um, in philippines you can also do those uh, marinades in advance pag yung may mga parties o mga mabilisan or uh, gusto mo salang na lang kinabukasan but uh, in north uh, we cook it um, direct on the pot from chicken soy sauce um, vinegar, um, garlic, laurel, peppercorns. Yun lang yung talagang ano nung um, adobo. And then yung mga brown sugar additional na lang yon because uh, some some kids uh, they like they like the food a bit sweeter. In just uh, on my own experience lang naman no. And ayon. Mas maganda nga yung may konting touch ng um, konting sugar touch. And uh, for us, that's our method. We cook directly on the pot everything. So after it boils and then nag-simmer tayo. And simmer natin for like uh, 30 to 45 minutes after boiling. So let's see. Okay. And play really not you can make a double however you want it's basically whatever you have on hand and you make a double out of it but habaneros one they're hot yeah very hot yes. much hotter than jalapenos and habaneros also have a very distinct flavor there are many different varieties of habaneros so yes. i used to grow habaneros okay. when i was a kid well some of them are hotter than others Usually oh, okay. Filipino food not even spicy. No need to put chili in there. But if you want That's to correct. put chili, use Filipino chili. Habanero. Oh. Habanero. <laughs> That's the weirdest reaction to chili. Oh. Habanero. Oh. Habanero. Habanero. Oh. Okay. Habanero. So, man. What? Well, what I've said earlier. Um. If uh, there's like uh, only adults or uh, walang kids, only adults will consume the adobo. We do it uh, spicy adobo also, but we use siling labuyo. Uh, habanero, I haven't tried that one before. Uh, haven't experienced that one before. Pero tingin ko siling labuyo sakto nang yon. Okay, habanero okay then. It's nice combination also, but it's very spicy than the normal siling labuyo. Okay, let's play it again. Habanero. Let me know guys how you think this video is going to turn out. Do you think it's going to turn out good? Do you think it's going to turn out maybe a little, you know, different? Maybe a little more like Rachel Ray's? Um, let me know down below what you think the end result's going to be. Okay, and we're going to mix this together, massage it. You went for it with that habanero, by the way. Massage it and put it in the, in the, 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 the not again overnight. 
it really it gets better, okay? Marinate anything, okay. And we're gonna strain the marinade. We're gonna reserve the marinade. We're gonna keep this. It's a lot of flavor. Okay, good. Uncle Roger was right. This is good. You do want to save that marinade. You don't want to throw it out. But then again, this is the Food Network and our last video of the Food Network. Okay. So marination method, goods then. Some I told you earlier na may mga chefs. There's other cooks, other chefs. They use marinades para in advance na no para mas lalong mag uh, sumiksik yung flavor. Ayun. So okay na rin yan lalo na pag yung maramihan. But for me, I prefer the I prefer the traditional in our place. So lahat naman tayo magkakaiba no. In Philippines, there's no standard uh, recipe of adobo. That's like a, it's like a biryani of Indian. Uh, kasi sa India, they have like I think more than 50 or less than 100 types of uh, biryani Bakit magkakaiba? Because there's um, some use more ingredients Some use less uh, spices pala more, And some use more spices And uh, some have like different methods They cook the chicken and rice together Or they cook the chicken separate with the sauce and separate rice and then they eventually mix that one so ganon so uh, in philippines adobo like um there's no standard like every city every province they have their own uh, versions so it depends pa on the chefs and the cooks how they will execute the one so marination is good also direct is good also it depends so uh, depende sa lawak or uh, broad ng knowledge mo sa isang recipe so after you know how to make this food and that's the time na pwede ka nang mag uh, lagay ng mga branch kung ano na yung gagawin mo sa uh, susunod kung ma-apply ba to sa catering you can apply this one in a like a large volume of um, clients or you can apply this one just for family, just for two, just for ten packs, like that. So marination is good if you're in, especially in um, huge volume of clients na. Okay, so yan. Tara. Who making a topo in this fancy La Cruze saucepan? Hiya. <laughs> you know how expensive this shit is? The thing is about good kitchen equipment, it can be very expensive, but... Just because you have good kitchen equipment doesn't mean that you're going to be a good chef. The most important yes. thing to be a good chef is experience. Yes. The most important thing to make you into even a better chef is having the correct equipment. Just spending money on saucepan, spending money on expensive soup. But the ingredient for a topo <laughs> wrong? Why don't you spend money on Filipino cookbook instead? Hi. When they get <laughs> nicely <laughs> crusted, we're going to take them out. Look nice. Put them on a dish. Look at all that. Look at all that crust in the bottom of the pan. And you want to keep that skin oh. on it. You need it. It was beautiful about that skin. It creates like a, a okay. flavor protector, an yes. insulator. Who is he? What is this about talking about chicken skin and insulator? It's already cooked. Really nobody cares about those two people. <laughs> they keep talking and he keep ignoring. Why are they there? Are they still getting paid by Food Network to be ignored? Must be nice. When Uncle Roger is still married to ex-wife Auntie Helen. I get ignored for free. <laughs> oh, Roger, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Like Some it. onion? No, traditional adobo. No onion. You're putting onions in this? Okay. Wow. Onions in adobo. Uh, as I've told earlier, in North, we don't use onions. Just garlic, laurel, uh, pepper, soy sauce, and vinegar. And oil. Yun lang and water. Um, in Tagalog, South, and uh, I think also in Pampanga they use also onions but I think sa amin lang in North Northern Philippines we only use garlic we don't use onions on adobo okay so kasi yung onion uh, nagbibigay ng sweetness yan no and a different level of flavor pero for me hindi siya bagay dun sa uh, adobo pero kung naglalagay ka ng sugar it's Ganon din yan yung magiging outcome niya. But for us, as I've told earlier, magkakaiba ang adobo. And each, there's different kind of adobo on each provinces, each cities. 
So some put onions, some don't. But originally, there's no onion on adobo. Okay, tara. Next. They may not add enough garlic if they're putting onions in it. Let's mm. see. Some garlic. Garlic, correct. A little salt and pepper. Wait, too much. <laughs> we have? Wait, wait. That it? That all the garlic you use? <laughs> you're you're garlic. just using... What? That too little nephew suit guy. When Uncle Roger making adobo, I used like 10 or 20 whole cloves of garlic. Just smush the whole clove and throw in pot. Nephew suit guy, use the right amount. Not the white amount. Mm. For eight. Man. So, sabi ni Mr. Nigel, add na yung garlic. Yes, absolutely right. Dapat yung garlic talaga ang um, umangat doon. So, garlic and then laurel. So, for me, ah, for, as a Filipino chef, Filipino cook, eh, garlic and laurel, yun yung talagang uh, on the top uh, flavor for my adobo. And I've te tested those um, <clears throat> adobo recipes uh, with uh, Europeans, with Westerns, with uh, Middle Eastern. Uh, so, mga naging clients ko dito na mga Arabic, mga Arabo. They're into sa, ano, sa dry adobo with garlic and peppery laurel flavor. Then, with the sauce or with the um, broth. Okay, so Ayun, tara, next ulit tayo <laughs> Pero, in 1 kilo 1 kilo uh, Meat of adobo I usually use like <clears throat> 10 cloves of garlic Just crush mo lang yun And then, pasok mo na And yun, tara, next na natin Without onion <laughs> Again Asian cooking, garlic is like money. It never enough. Just putting five slices in there. Don't tease <laughs> us with your five little slices of garlic. This guy treating garlic like truffle. Well, yeah. that depends on the truffle. Add chicken skin side up, back in. Yeah, cook in the sauce, correct? And we're gonna cook this adobo, gonna be so bland. Oh, that's great. He added way too much water to this, mostly the sauce. Is just water. If you guys haven't seen our view of Andy making his pork adobo, it wasn't chicken, it was a pork adobo. He made a delicious look. Ito. Yung kay Chef Andy naman, yung adobo niya, uh, goods din yan. Kasi parang uh, it's like a pampangas adobo. Uh, so, so kapampangan pride yan na siguro nang galing. Kapampangan Chef Sagdoro sa kanya. So, itong kay Food Network, maybe it came from a... <laughs> A, from a sabi mo ng Tagalog or from Manila or somewhere pero uh, dinamihan pa nila ng twist okay so let's go next looking pork adobo and if you haven't seen that video you should definitely check it out after seeing this one because I'll tell you what Andy's recipe I'd like to remake this recipe is looking a little mm. but yes, after you right. this Clap, clap for what? The watery <laughs> as shit. A topo is the opposite of woman. It can definitely be too wet. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> sorry, children. Yeah, he's not sorry. He's been watching Austin Powers. Maybe. I know it. It did sound a little <laughs> wet, didn't it? Right at the end. Ooh. <laughs> I have rice. Warm white Ooh. rice with no seasoning. White rice with no seasoning? Like what? He White didn't add salt to the rice, so he didn't cook it with any salt. In Nothing. Philippines, just boiled rice. There's no Nothing seasoning on the water. rice. Oh That's a plain goodness. rice. Why? The dish is bland enough. You don't need to make the rice bland. That's what we call plain rice in Asia. Just rice. Okay. So in Philippines, guys, in Philippines, we only have this jasmine rice, and we don't season our rice. So it's just a bland plain rice. Kaya if you're cooking adobo. So um, your your sauce or uh, your meat should be uh, extra salty. So that's the difference. Because if you mix it with the bland rice, then na nagko complement yung uh, flavor niya. But uh, if you're not into rice, then less the salt or the soy sauce on your um, adobo recipe. Ganun lang naman yun. So adjustment lang. Okay, so next. 
And that's why also pala dahil sa sa salty adobo, we cook a bit it, a bit salty. Kasi just a pinch of meat and you can eat more rice, <laughs> 'di ba? So you can get full uh, in an instant eating a few meat. Ganun lang naman lalo na sa sa Pinas eh normal lang naman before eh we don't usually eat like uh, eat anything we want so like we only have like one piece of chicken one piece of uh, pork adobo then we eat that one in a huge amount of rice so that's life we don't not uh, everyone has the same uh, experiences but i've experienced that one so tara next say rice with no seasoning hi yeah when you eating bread do you also say oh i eating bread with no spread no we just say we eating bread yeah, so, right, right, right. all the seasoning you need here right okay i want to see you react rice look okay uh, hey the habanero is in there so, look that beautiful sauce on top beautiful sauce on top that's very subjective yeah because to me this doesn't look very beautiful especially the sauce it looks way too watery and i don't think it has enough flavor i mean i'm not saying it doesn't okay. taste like anything so um k chef mackinson um opinion niya yan, so open naman tayo but this food network adobo i think it's similar to um tagalog adobo or the adobos in a uh, uh, NCR or Manila area so that's the kind of adobo they have with broth okay so with sabaw so let's see what's, what's the next but in Tagalog they don't sear they don't sear the uh, chicken no? they cook it direct okay so next like anything but i'm just saying that it doesn't look like it has an intense flavor to it mm. parsley oh, what, 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 what? parsley <laughs> did, he, did he say parsley Some parsley parsley into filipino adobo there's no parsley Corona in just Philippines. so upset i put my leg down from chair parsley don't belong in asian food you're not making pasta <laughs> What the fuck? The thing is, why add parsley and why add so much? Because keep in mind, these are cooking channels. Somebody is in charge of ordering all the ingredients for these recipes or going to the. Okay, so. Ayun na nga. Uh, parsley is not common in the Philippines. Uh, it's not usually farmed in uh, um, local uh, farms. Mga local na mga tatalim ng mga gulay hindi uh, masyadong sikat ang parsley the um, parsley is known also only for making garnish and uh, juices pero it's not that much in Philippines so and parsley also give a bit of a flavor so in adobo uh, siguro it will it will be okay siguro pag dry dry adobo but I prefer uh, onion licks. Ayan, onion licks, mas okay pa. O kaya chives. Okay, so next. Lapit matapos. The ingredients for these recipes, or going to the store at least for the last minute things that they need. Yeah, someone's in charge for this. So why then do they never seem to have the correct ingredients when making some of these dishes? <laughs> or do they just run out? Because honestly, I don't think it would have been hard to nip down to the store to get some coriander or some spring onions. I don't think so. Mm. It's either that or they just don't know and they're just making something up. Uh, yeah. What do you So Tama to si Chef Mackinson, you're right. And um, I think if someone teach them uh, how to make adobo <laughs> uh, for sure yung source nila is di marunong kung marunong man but indifferent um indifferent method so as i've told magkaiba every provinces sa Philippines there are different 
kinds, different types of adobo. And uh, it depends on the, the sa chefs, sa cooks, or sa uh, family recipe. Ayun, magkakaiba talaga lahat yan. Pero itong pinanggalingan ng Food Network, eh, no, 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 a big, big no. So, similar sa Tagalog, adobo, but uh, still a big no. Dahil, uh, ewan ko, di, di okay yung, di okay yung, ano, di okay yung, Uh, ginawa nila dun sa adobo so dapat iba na lang pangalanan pero similar siya sa Tagalog pero yung kulay hindi mas maitim yung kulay ng Tagalog version okay you guys think what type of Asian food got parsley in it I think this damn few suit guy want to put cilantro or spring onion but he cannot find so he go oh this parsley also small green leaf type of <laughs> Put that shit in there, nobody notice. Hiya. Uncle Roger, we really need to review Jamie uh, making a paella uh. together. <laughs> like seriously. And if somebody can find Jamie's actual paella that he deleted from the internet, that would be even better. I was always served for me with lemon. What? Oh, really? Man, nobody eat a topo. Uncle Roger, I eating a topo so many times now, never one time with lemon. With adobo. But what are we making? Some fish and chips? Are we gonna add some mushy peas on the side as well? What you mean always soft with lemon? Why are you okay. eating your adobo? Jay okay. So eto lemon on the side. Usually we have like a uh, salsa one in Philippines or we have this uh, we make some condiments on the side. Like uh ano na lang yan? Um, we usually use calamansi bagoong Uh, we mix that one with chili and some use uh, soy sauce with calamansi or with lemon and then they dice some um, fresh onions and garlic and chilies and mix with it with some sugars or honey sugar talaga yung ginagamit ayun so itong lemon on the side plate now okay next I prefer nasa separate plate na lang yung sausawan and then you can get some okay next what you mean oh, are we gonna add some mushy peas on the side as well what you mean always soft with lemon why are you eating your adobo jamie oliver restaurant is it monsieur thank you oh slips right through you can smell it Uh, look at that, too watery. Ayan, nephew suit guy, it all going okay. Until you add the parsley, and now it all fucked up. Uncle Roger's sad now. <laughs> Roger, you're not the only one that's sad now. Overall, I mean, you have to just look at some of these recipes that they make on the Food Network and BBC and everything. I'm not saying all of them are bad, it's just that this was a little, like... What the hell is going on? I mean, mm, seriously. You're right. Again, I'm not saying it's horrible. It's just something that I would not personally want to remake to test. I don't even want to test this recipe because I can tell right now that is bland. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Be sure to check out Andy's recipe <coughs> as well. Okay. And maybe we will remake Andy's recipe soon because that recipe, that pork adobo, looked delicious. If you have any recommendations, let me know down below. Be sure to check out this next video coming up here. And I will see you again soon. Until then, okay. take care. So, yun na nga. Uh, final verdict natin dito sa Food Network Adobo. Um, um, similar siya sa Tagalog Adobo. But, uh, with the lemon on the side, with the parsley, no. And the uh, color ng adobo, color ng sabaw, ng broth. No also so if you're into adobo uh, instead of using salt you should uh, use just soy sauce okay so gagawa na lang tayo ng recipe soon uh, we are, I have lots of uh, adobo recipes already on my channel and uh, we're going to upload a new recipe again and uh, let's check kung ano yung mga variations na pwede Okay, so GG's tayo and uh, good day to all. Shout out kay Chef Andy, Chef Mackinson, kay Nigel and also sa Food Network. Okay, ciao. GG's.